welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tammy Tabet Abisoye. So today we're going to talk about Bridgerton. Everybody's obsessed with the show and don't get me wrong, I love the show too. Great show, I, I enjoyed it, but I had some issues and we have to talk about it. <sighs> so yeah, we gotta talk about it. We have to get down to the nitty gritty because this show has the potential to be great. I love Shonda Rhimes. I love everything she's doing. I love that she's created like this empire for herself and the things that she produces and writes for and all that stuff. Like that is amazing of a successful black woman. Like snaps for her. But Bridgerton, Bridgerton has some issues and we gotta discuss it. The first thing is I love the Regency Corps that Bridgerton brought. I love the fashion. I love the music. I loved all of it. I did. Truly, honestly, the actors, the actresses, they were superb. Amazing. But... Baby. 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 There were some... There were some issues. So the first one was the racial dynamics. And this was from a TikTok, which I'm going to insert here. I was really going to go to sleep. I was really going to go to sleep, but y'all got me on this Bridgerton thing. I'm, listen to yourself. Listen to what you just said. She was so powerless and naive. So powerless and naive that she was able to premeditate an assault on her husband. That she was able to premeditate violating his consent. And this is the thing about bringing in this racial subtext without bringing in a full racial consciousness into the into the show into Bridgerton, right? Is look how far you are willing to go to infantilize white femininity in order to absolve this woman, this adult woman, of what she clearly intentionally did as an act of harm against another person, a non-white person in this multiracial society. Look how far you're willing to go to say she didn't know, baby. Bridgerton gives racial subtext without full racial consciousness. And what does that mean? That means that they allude to a lot of issues regarding race. We see it with Simon and his father and him talking about how they have to be better. They have to make sure that they are basically perfect because people are watching them. Um, when Simon is talking to Lady Danbury, she alludes to it too. Um, but they don't really go f past that, those remarks. They don't go past those remarks. Um, see a black queen, which is great. Like, I love the fact that they're, they're not taking these historical romances, these historical, like, themes or whatever. They're, I'm happy they're not taking it too seriously. Like, they're allowing it to be diverse divers but this uh, they, the things that they alluded to raised questions I wanted to know how was it and how is it navigating this world as a black duke as a lady who is black as a black queen because if you're saying that you have to be 100% perfect so people have no reason to screw to like give you scrutiny or to criticize then that means this world is not perfect and it doesn't give this escapism that it's trying to give. It's not even giving what y'all said it was supposed to give. No, I wasted my money. Um, and it's kind of, how should I say this? It's kind of embarrassing. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. But it's not giving what it's supposed to give. And I wish it was and I wish it did it does all this alluding which is like fine if you're going to answer these questions but it did all this this alluding and didn't answer any questions and there's a black queen a black lady a black duke and all this stuff and that's great it's amazing like awesome I love that but at the same time at the same time I want to know like what was it like and what is it like being a black duke like 
how was the scrutiny what was the criticism like why do you have to be so watchful like um what was it like for the queen when she became queen like there's just all there's all these questions that are raised and there is no answers and that's what i mean when i say it gives racial subtext without full racial consciousness like <clears throat> they allude to it they talk about it so much and the dynamics are there but there is no answers there's no there's nothing and so that's like the first big problem for me um the racial dynamics and all that stuff like maybe we can do better we can do better we can do better good day in my mind say to um, but yeah. And then let's talk about this diversity. The quotations around that because it's not giving. It's not giving. Um, it's very, it's giving very, very much performative. Very much the bare minimum. And first we have to talk about behind the screen because the showrunner is white. The writers are white. The executive producers except for Shonda Rhimes are white and that makes a big difference in how things are understood how black characters are written it makes a huge difference like when we're reading a story plot made me so upset and then when I looked at the writers I was just like it makes sense it makes sense that they were like this because why would a black woman Why would they give her something to look forward to? Why wouldn't she be able to succeed without all these struggles? Like being sent to a house that she doesn't want to be at, being pregnant, having her, basically the father of her child die in the war. Like the girl got no break. They were just like back to back to back to back to back. And I'm just like, can y'all give this a break? Like damn, like damn really like she deserves so much better than what she got um and then lady danbury she was just there to basically prop up simon so it was the queen the queen the queen she kind of had a story plot but it was basically towards the end but like even lady danbury she's just there to be the counsel to simon be his little sidekick be his little mother figure which is fine i guess um but even like or even his darker skinned friend who's a boxer he's there to be his advice person like the dynamics are just off like the darker skinned people are background characters or sidekicks and if they're not dark skinned they're literally just the black characters or the black people are there just background um and that was weird um even other even the other racial groups that were in the show were just background characters and i'm just sitting here just like this is what y'all call diversity? Are you not embarrassed? Are you not ashamed of yourself? That kind of made me upset. Like, I wanted it. I wanted it to be more than this. Like, and Netflix and does this all the time. If you look at the stuff that they put out um, that contain black characters, most of the black characters, especially if it's women, are light skinned. Lady Danbury. The, the actress i'm pretty sure she's mixed the queen is either mixed or just light skin marina is light skin simon's sidekick is dark is the only i think the only dark skin character that i remember having lines and we have to do better than just having diversity and it just being black and white people that's not diversity anymore i mean it is but it's just the bare minimum of diversity this whole thing with like having light skinned women y'all's picture of black women is weird um please stop doing it um black comes in all shades and you should show all those shades not the same one over and over and over again because yes these actresses are great but i promise you you can find dark skin actresses you can find brown skin actresses like you can do it i believe in you i really do i believe So that diversity stuff was very much sad, embarrassing. You can do better. But 
but like I said, I'm not surprised because the diversity in the writer's room is lacking. Like it's embarrassing at this point because diversity does not only mean in front of the screen, but it's also behind the screen. Who is, who is in your writer's team? Who is producing these shows? Who is your showrunner? Like who is directing? Like all these things are important and when you don't have them, it shows on screen. And that's why this show gives a racial subtext without full racial consciousness because the people who are writing about it don't understand it in the in the way it's fully meant to be understood like a white person can write black characters but it's not gonna be and in my experience of watching white shows who do this or even like the show this is us um if they don't give the character full like fullness like it's not it doesn't feel like a full character to me when I'm a, like compared to when a black person writes a black character there's just something about that perspective that changes the way that you have the character interact with themselves interact with others and these characters lacked that and then because of that the escapism that they're trying to create doesn't really work like i put this on my tiktok which is live authentic underscore and someone talked about like how if they were going to do it this way like if they were going to try and create this escapism they should have just did this like what they did with cinderella with randy and whitney houston like that the way that they did that movie and the way that they created that movie like it was just cinderella who happens to be black which was great like they did that great but this they talked about their blackness in the show they alluded to it a lot and so when they didn't answer these questions that came up in my mind and i know they're in the mind of other um black other people in the audience who were black um it was just like um these questions don't give me this escapism that you're trying to give me it just raises the questions and it feels it makes me feel frustrated that you're not answering these questions right so if you're going to do escapism, you have to do it correctly. You have to create these characters in fullness and fatality, and they don't do that here. So it really just lacks. And then let's talk about the sexual assault scene with Daphne. That scene got me heated so much. Like, I was so freaking upset. Like, that scene made me so upset. It made me angry. And... On TikTok, people were basically defending Daphne. I was just like, are y'all okay? Get up here and bash her like everybody else, but she need a lot of psychological evaluation. This sexual assault scene and then the infantilization of white women, this scene goes hand in hand because people were defending Daphne and they're just like, well, Simon didn't tell her how to have sex and he lied to her and he did this. But that, that doesn't matter. She premeditated this act. Like... If we're being completely honest, she premeditated this act against Simon. And how we know this is because of the fact that she uses Simon's like um, castle keeper and to ask questions because she gets suspicious um, when they're having, <clears throat> you know, sex. You can tell that she's she's wondering like why is he pulling out all this stuff, right? And then she she then does this assault against Simon. To confirm her suspicions that is premeditation on her part she's not innocent and people were so quick to defend her and they do this with white women a lot like they're so quick to defend them it's like she didn't know that any better yes she did she knew what she was doing was wrong she knew what she was doing was wrong and you could tell it with the way that how she reacted after the scene she made it all about herself and how simon lied to her about how he um didn't how he said he could not he he cannot have children that was the exact i'm pretty sure that's the phrase he was like you told me that you could not give me children he was like no i said i cannot have children like yeah you told oh she's okay so she thought that he said that he could not have children he was like no i just cannot give you children and instead of like having a conversation with this man because that would have been the logical thing to do like logic just went all out the window with this girl she raped him. Like, y'all don't see the problem with that? And the first thing that people were doing are defending her, saying that, like, well, she was in the right because he liked her. 
um, no, no, babes, I'm sorry. I'm never gonna defend anything like that. Like, I don't care if I've lied to you or anything. That does not give you the right to sexually assault somebody. It doesn't. It doesn't. Like, let's be real. It does not give you the right. And it ties into infantilization of white women because of the fact that, like, they quickly jumped to how young she was and how she didn't know anything. And, like, she's just, she's innocent and all that stuff. And it's just like, no, she knew better. And she could have done better. She could have handled it in a mature way. She decided not to. This whole thing, this whole thing with Simon really just made me upset. And I'm just like, this was, this, this, that part of the show, I think, honestly, did not, was not needed. Like, he told you straight up, like, I cannot give you kids. Whether or not it's an issue with, because of his father, whether or not it's because he actually can't give you kids, you agreed to that when you married him. You seemed fine with that. Like, obviously, you were upset that, like, you could tell him times with, throughout some scenes that when she would see kids and he would play with them, she was like, oh i really wish that we could have kids like i'm upset like this you could see it in her face like it's, it was very obvious but you knew what you were signing up for and you seem and obviously maybe you weren't fine with it but you knew what you were signing up for he made it very clear to you and because it was something that it wasn't because he physically couldn't give you kids but because he just didn't want to have children you decided that you were going to force him to tell you the truth by sexually assaulting him and i just can't get behind that um and it made me really upset in the end when she ended up having kids. I'm just like. And then it's also the way that they handled this. It was very much like we're going to avoid each other, not actually talk about this. And then at the end, somehow we're going to resolve this. Like they talked about it immediately after. And it was mostly most it was mostly a screening match. And then Simon ignored her because obviously the consequences of your of, of sexually assaulting me is I'm just not like if someone sexually assaulted me the way that she did to Simon and we're married right I'm just gonna be like I'm not gonna speak to you because obviously you're not understanding how this is wrong and the other thing that made me upset and this maybe comes into a white fragility and all that stuff women white women using their fragility the other thing was just like how like um Daphne just made it all about herself like she she was upset at him because she lied and just like it's not about you like it is but it isn't because what you did was definitely a lot worse he lied but you sexually assaulted him like come on the the scale is not balanced like you did him wrong and he had the right to ignore you and to give you the side treatment and to you know walk out the room when you came and all that and all that stuff like because you did him wrong you did him dirty he deserved better and it was just ugh. that that all that was a mess and i honestly think it wasn't necessary like i truly believe that they did not need that at all at all they did they did not need to put that scene in there like there was already they were already dealing so much as a new couple that like i know it was in the book but they were already dealing with so much and as a new couple that i just didn't think it was necessary um but since they put it in there they just didn't handle it correctly and that also goes back to escapism like there's a lot of things within the show they're just like if you're gonna make it this way if you're trying to make it this way then you're gonna have to do it right like it didn't seem like anybody raised a question like did we handle this correctly are we talking about this enough it's like and i understand like it's your first season it's like 10 episodes eight like eight to ten episodes i'm pretty sure it's just eight episodes and like there's that's not a that's not a lot of time to work with a lot of material um but y'all could have done a lot better than that so comment down below what were things that you liked about bridgerton what were things that like rub you the wrong way and i'm gonna make i want to read all of them like i want to know what were your thoughts because these are these are my thoughts obviously but i want to know if do you guys agree do you guys disagree um and make sure to like and subscribe i'm going to put that down it like down below i'm pretty sure is it oh i'm gonna do it like this so make sure to like and subscribe so like down here or subscribe up here um so yeah this was a good conversation i know this was really rough it's kind of really hard for me to like talk to people on like this camera um i'm still learning because this is my first video this is my first video about talking about topics like this like i already do it on my tiktok account but I wanted to bring this over to YouTube because I feel like it gives me a, a bigger space, a bigger space to talk about this stuff. So let me know if you like. Let me know what you want me, other topics that you want me to discuss. Um, and yeah, like it'll get better from here, I promise. But I just wanted to just rant and talk about this because, woo, babes. <laughs>
this was this was something it was really it really did give me a lot of thoughts gave me a lot of things to think about to use my little noggin up here to talk um and if you get to know me once you guys get to know me you know i like to do british accents a lot just open them just start with it so um yeah um, i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that you like and subscribe and you come back and i'm hoping to post every week um on fridays so yeah all right thanks guys